I threw my underwear at a neighbor to save my life. Yet he didn't see the note in my bra. Not only that, but Alan, the neighbor, decided to return it. My monster of a husband, Derek, opened the door. Shh. Your wife threw this in my face. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Are you willing to cheat on me with whoever happens to walk by first? Honey, the bra just fell from the balcony. I tried to get my underwear back, but my husband started carefully checking it. When it came to me, Derek was jealous of strangers, relatives, and even the news anchor. That's why he took away my phone before locking me in the apartment. Fortunately, the note was gone, and he believed that the bra had been blown away by the wind. I came up with a new strategy to ask for help. Huh. Honey, maybe we should treat our neighbor to dinner huh? to apologize for the inconvenience. My husband, of course, wasn't thrilled about it, so I whispered to him. It's useful being friends with the neighbors. Mm. Unexpectedly, Derek agreed and ordered me to set the table. I immediately wrote another message on a plate for Alan. Call the police. However, our guest eagerly dug into the food and erased it as it was never there. Mmm, that's a lot tastier than our dinner last night, Derek. <laughs> what? Did my husband already know that man? I forgot to tell you, honey. Alan is not just our neighbor. He's also my new business partner. <gasps> we signed an agreement yesterday. So that's why Derek let Alan go so easily. <sighs> he was his ally, so he definitely wouldn't help me. For a moment, our eyes met, and I saw sympathy. <gasps> then Alan winked at me. Unfortunately, Derek noticed our glance exchange. Honey, maybe you should look in the direction of the kitchen <gasps> and find something else you can please your husband with. I didn't have much time left, so I went for a riskier approach. Try the new dish I prepared just for you. Oh my god! Why is it so spicy? I'm sorry. I must have mixed up the sweet pepper with chili. Here, have some water. While my tyrant husband was rinsing his throat, I took the opportunity to talk. Derek keeps me locked up. Please call the police before he... I couldn't finish my sentence because an enraged Derek returned. He saw me leaning toward the guest and was fuming. Alan, it's time mm -hmm. for you to go home. Have you forgotten that you got a fly today? Alan was about to go home, yet I couldn't just let him leave like that. Don't worry, honey. I have some heartburn medicine. I'll bring it right away. 
I put something that would persuade Alan to help me inside his takeaway dinner. But then... <gasps> what have you been doing here for so long? I gave Derek the medicine, and he noticed the package for Alan. What? Food? You think I don't know what's going on? You threw your bra from the balcony to spend the night with him? Furious, Derek started smashing the containers in search of evidence. However, he only ended up finding my biggest secret. I'm not gonna share you with anyone, especially a child. My husband nervously called someone. Can you see us tomorrow morning? We need to solve a fatus issue. Please, don't! Derek didn't listen to me. He just dragged me into the bedroom right in front of a very shocked Alan. <gasps> Alan Plain. My husband locked the door. And the neighbor was my last hope. Alan witnessed what a monster Derek truly was. Still, five minutes later, he left his house to go to the airport. I realized that the only person who could help me was me. The following morning, Derek didn't let me go to the bathroom, nor prepare <gasps> breakfast. We have more urgent matters, honey. I grabbed my husband's phone to use the GPS. What's the address? Derek suddenly became much more aware. Do you think police will help you? Just like Alan did, huh? <laughs> I cried all the way there and even scared the bribe doctor. Are you sure you want to do this? Hey, I paid you to work, not to ask questions. Of course, a woman's <gasps> tears meant nothing compared to a bag full of money. <laughs> Suddenly, the doctor pulled my note out from his pocket. <gasps> He signaled me to keep quiet. And then... Oh, what's happening? Derek's screams didn't last long. He fell asleep thanks to the massive dose of sleeping pills. And that moment, the doctor took off his mask. It was Alan! When I overheard your conversation with your husband, I realized I had to be much more cunning to catch him red-handed. Derek regained consciousness, surrounded by the police. They watched Alan's video and heard my side of the story. Tell them I have never hurt you. What I did was for the sake of our love. I, of course, didn't back him up. Instead, I sold our apartment and moved to another country. Eight months later, I finally had a worthy man in my life. Someone who truly loved me. My son. Remember, there is always a way out of a toxic relationship. If it's not a door or a window, it's an air vent or a random passerby. <laughs>